Good morning, friends. Today we're going to be finishing up our name line design. Last week we talked about how to make um, our name in bubble or block letters to make them, make them look 3D and a little bit thicker. And then we drew a bunch of wavy curling lines around our paper that actually ended up dividing our letters into sections. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work with value, which is different shades of a color. So let's think about value really fast. Value could be having one color like blue and then also having values of blue, which could be light blue. Maybe it's dark blue or navy. These are different values of the color blue. Notice how they're all blue, but they're just different shades of it. Today we're going to be using value for every letter on your paper. Friends, I'm going to start with the C on my paper, and I'm going to pick one color to do my C in. Since we've already talked about the color blue, I think I'm going to grab some things from my table bin that I know are the color blue. Now, when we do this, friends, you can use markers, crayons, and your colored pencils that are in your bin. But remember, when we use these, we are sharing them. So if someone is using the color that you want to use, you might have to ask them to share or wait your turn. What I'm going to do is, just in my letter C, I'm going to trace or outline my new shapes that I have. Can you see how I traced that new triangle shape in my C that was made from the lines? I'm going to color that part in. Now friends, when we do this, we're not going to be designing your background. We're going to leave that black and white. We're just going to be coloring in your letters. I'm going to space out my colors a bit. So that way they're not all right on top of each other. I always like to outline my new shape first so I know exactly where I'm coloring. I'm going to grab my lighter blue and color this new triangle shape. Notice I'm only coloring in the letter C. But each new shape that was made, I'm doing a different value of the color blue. You don't just have to use blue if you want to use values of green or orange. You can do that. I think I'm actually going to use a different color on my next letter. I'm going slowly and carefully staying inside my lines. My C is finished. Friends, notice on my coloring, there's not a lot of white spots. I might need to go back over right here. So especially when you're using crayons or colored pencils, you need to be sure that you put on a thick layer of it without breaking your crayon to be sure it's nice and colored in. We're going to do one more letter together, and then I'm going to let you go and do your own. The next color that I want to do, I think I'm going to do orange. So I'm going to grab things in my table bin that are the value or the color orange. I found that orange colored pencil, and I have an orange crown. I'm going to use all three of my different art materials for this one. Now friends, you are going to have to mix and match your materials because we want different values in each one. So you can't just use markers on this because it would just be one solid color. We want different colors to show the different shapes that you made with your curved lines. I'm going to move over to my O and I'm going to start by outlining my new shapes. I'm just going inside my letter O not on the background. I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to space out my different art materials because I don't want them right on top of each other. I like how orange looks on this one. It sort of looks like a basketball. I'm going to grab my colored pencil. Notice how I'm still using the color orange, but by using different art materials, the color is going to look just a little bit different. That's what we're aiming for. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with my crayon, finish up my last two places, Friends, we're going to keep working with this. I want you to pick one color for each letter of your name. Using different art materials, you're going to create different values of that one color and color in each section of your name a different value of that color. I can't wait to see how these turn out for you all. Take your time, try your best, and we'll be able to take these home soon.